In this video, we're going to check out how this Etsy seller makes over 350K a year by really getting to know their customers' needs. This is a pretty new store, but it's already dominating their niche. Let's check it out. I'm Jess at Insights by Jess. I dig deep into what makes Etsy store successful and where they can improve so that you get the full 411 on what's really selling and why. Let's jump in. All right, today's store review is actually such a cool one. I absolutely love this store. I love their branding. It is so bright. It is so sunshiny and I just can't get enough of it. They have a gorgeous collection of soaps and scrubs. This store is called Shop Afro Cosmetics and they make African cosmetics and healthcare products. Before we dive into why this store is so awesome, I do want to give a quick disclaimer. I am not affiliated with Etsy. I'm not affiliated with the store and I do not endorse the store or their products. I am completely independent and this is my own review based on my own personal opinion. That being said, let's check them out. As you can see, their branding is really bright. I love the vibe. It's gorgeous. I love their logo. I absolutely love the colors. I'm kind of partial because it's similar to my own colors, but I love it. They have a really great collection, I've already said, of soaps and scrubs. They have 121 different products. And as we scroll through their store here, we can see they have pretty great photos here of what the products are. You can get a pretty decent idea of what they sell. And then they have, as we scroll down, different options. So you can get, for example, raw shea butter in a one pound bag, five pounds bulk bag, 25 pounds wholesale bag. So they have done, for example, a really good job of identifying what their customers want and who their target market is. So they know their niche, they've really dominated their niche and they have absolutely killed it in terms of sales. So, on the subject of sales, let's dig into their Etsy store stats. They have about 105,600 sales. This is fantastic. When I did the review about a week ago, they had just crossed over the 100,000 mark. So this is really beautiful. I love to see that they are making money so quickly. Of their 121 listings, their average price point is about $9. And of course I get that by looking at their reviews and seeing what they're selling the most of and how often they're selling it. And as I scroll down quickly here, it does not say when they opened their store. So one of the ways that you can see how long a seller has been selling is to go buy their feedback, click most recent, and then I apologize for all the scrolling here. Click on the very last tab. So you can see that their first feedback is from April of 2020. So this store is about two and a half years old. So when applying a $9 price point to all of their sales, 105,000 sales divided over the two and a half years that they've been open, that puts their average approximate sales at $364,000. So this store is absolutely knocking it out of the park with these sales to be such a new, in my opinion, new store and already pulling not just six figures, but they are well over a quarter of a million dollars a year. They're coming close to half a million dollars a year. And honestly, if you calculate because my conservatives or my conservatives because my estimates are pretty conservative if you apply a growth factor there they could be pretty close if not already past that half a million dollar mark but i'm kind of a nerdy and i do like to be more on the conservative side with these estimates so let's take a look at one of their best-selling listings here this is a turmeric ginger skin brightening soap, Kojic, Kojic soap. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. All natural dark spots remover, acne scars, eczema face body. They've got some great keywords in their title. Their title does look a little bit short to me. So I'm going to pull it into my Etsy seller success workbook and we're going to check that out. 
So they're using 114 characters in their title. There's about 25 characters left where they could get more of those keywords in there. So <clears throat> this is a best-selling listing and they are doing a great job racking sales up very, very quickly. But that is an opportunity to get more visibility in search and more sales. So definitely worth taking up that additional space there. Looking at their keywords, they've got dark spot remover, turmeric soap, turmeric soap for dark skin, turmeric soap. Again, that's interesting. Okay, it's a spelling change. So if you can see here, it's turmeric with an R and here it's turmeric without an R. So it looks like a common misspelling here. And then again, we have soap, kojic acid soap, hyperpigmentation remover, black skin is the full tag. We can't see the full thing until it pops open my little box there. Face soap. Let's see if they have some more tags down below because Etsy likes to split them up here. Skin brightening, organic. That's a great one to add in there. Eczema, acne, dark spots, turmeric powder, black owned shops. That's awesome because that helps capitalize on their niche and get more support from their community. I think that's really great. That's really smart. Looking back up here at their pictures, they have a pretty simple put together picture that just showcases their product. Someone's holding it in their hand and it does say turmeric ginger show ginger soap on here. They also have a photo of multiple pieces of soap wrapped here, a close up of three pieces of soap. Another image. Is this the same one? So a slightly different image of lots of soaps here more of that main image. So lots of kind of the same thing. They are trying to fill up more images, it looks like, and use more images, but they are a lot of repetition here. So I do want to point that out because that's also a little bit of an opportunity lost. But before we dig too much into that, I want to take a peek at their description. So here they have copy and pasted their title back in here. That is one way to get all those keywords into your SEO and kind of boost up those keywords and the strength of those keywords. It does lack an appeal statement. And as I say, in most of my reviews, I love those appeal statements. It gives you an opportunity to use words that encourage a buyer to actually purchase your product. So I think it's helpful to take those words and put them into a sentence like this beautiful turmeric ginger skin brightening soap is all natural, it's kojic soap, and it's great dark spots remover. It's great for acne stars, eczema, face and body, blah, blah, blah. Like just add some extra words to turn that into a sentence, I guess is what I'm saying. It also says down here that it's great for all types of skin, dark spots, dark elbows. So they tell you really what you can use it for, which I think is great. And then they go into, they do offer wholesale which is wonderful. I love that they're really offering different ways to buy and sell your product. So I think that's really smart. And I wanna come back up here really quickly and go back to these photo images here. So if I was a wholesaler, for example, I may not want to purchase this particular soap because I'm not really getting a lot of variety in the images. I'm kind of seeing the same thing over and over and over again. And I do think that there's a little bit of opportunity to improve these images in a really simple way. So that being said, I want to pop over here and take a peek at this competitor. So this competitor is a very new store. Um, it's Earthy Queens and they only have just under 3000 sales, but it is also a bestseller. And you can see that turmeric soap is really popular right now. So this listing is also selling really, really well. But right off the bat, you've probably noticed that their product looks beautiful. They've put it in a little baggie with like a leaf tie attached to it and it looks very very 
appealing. It's got that little bit of a nature vibe, and I really like that, that earthy vibe, which really fits with their store name of Earthy Queens. It's also on a piece of wood. It's like more of a spa type photo, and scrolling through their other photos, they do give it more of like that spa vibe. And I think that this makes a big difference, these little details in the presentation of your product. So it's not necessarily that it's a better product. It may not even be as good of a product as the other one, but they have some really lovely photos in here that do make it look beautiful and appealing and very viable. And on that same token, I do want to mention that I do have a free resource. You can get the link in the video description below. It is the 10 biggest mistakes that most Etsy sellers make with their photos. So basically it's just a really quick uh, tips and tricks PDF for how to take better photos and what kind of to avoid when you are taking your product photography. So definitely make sure you grab that so that you can set your photos apart from all of the competition. It's free anyways, so don't, there's no reason not to take full advantage of all the tips you can get, right? In addition, they have also added these little stickers on top. So if we look back at our listing, there's a very simple sticker on and likely they are either printing these stickers themselves or they're buying these stickers. It would not cost that much extra to buy bigger stickers or to print bigger stickers. And these stickers really do give a much different vibe into the quality of product um, as these smaller more basic stickers. So those are just some really, really simple ways to kind of update this product and really push it ahead of all of the other similar products. So if we scroll up here, we can see similar items. And here's the competitor that I showed you. It is definitely worth it in my opinion to create some photos that set this apart. And I think they have a great store, they have a great brand, and I'm really actually excited to see how far they grow because this is a pretty new store. So to have dominated this niche and to have racked up oh, well over a hundred, a little over a hundred thousand sales already in such a rapid amount of time is absolutely remarkable. So even without their photos, even with those couple of SEO things that I mentioned, they are really kicking butt and taking news. They are really, really knocking it out of the park here. And while we are on the topic of great photos, you are not going to believe the drama of this $350,000 a year store that has been trying so hard to protect their photos and their store. See that crazy Etsy story here.